why you created the company, what problem you saw in this space. We created SpeedScale to try to improve the lives of developers by making it easier to produce quality software. So one of the things we saw, I've been in the monitoring space for about 20 years. And one of the things I've always been frustrated by is that uh, observability or monitoring software always catches problems after users have already experienced them. And so I felt that it was time for us to try to solve the problem a little bit earlier in the life cycle. And that's, that's the genesis of SpeedScale. What, are the, what is the category? What is the space that you work in? Your traditional observability vendors tend to focus on finding, uh, being alerted, l- alerted to problems. So you'll hear talks about like metrics, traces, logs, et cetera. And that's all wonderful. Um, those, are, those are great tools and you should, you should definitely use them. However, SpeedScale does something slightly different. What we do is monitor production systems and try to increase their debugability. And the way that we do that is through something called traffic replay. So traffic replay, the the real easy uh, way of understanding it is, we see everything going on in a production cloud native system and we record the real transaction. And then we not only allow people to look at what happens, like look at what users are doing, but we also more importantly, bring that back to the developer's desktop and allow all of that, uh, all of those user interactions to be reused uh, as part of the development process, as well as part of the validation process in the CI CD pipeline. How you make it easy? What is the impact on developers' life directly when they, you know, look at uh, Speedy Scale? One of our missions at Speed Scale is to eliminate uh, integration testing, traditional integration testing. So every developer hates the toil of writing tests. Um, I've been an engineer my whole career, and uh, I, I'm very bad at picking the things that will break in an application. And I think when you get into cloud native architectures, that defect, that, that complexity becomes unmanageable. Um, the systems change too much, too much is being handled by the infrastructure, Kubernetes or whatever system you're on. And so you need to take a more automated approach. Engineer hates writing tests. Every engineer doesn't, isn't good at writing tests because the code you wrote, it, it's very hard to figure out how it might break because you've been so focused on making it work properly. So what, what, uh, what SpeedScale does to make developers' lives better is we go and record what real people do, real users do, and we take away the burden of having to write that test. And more importantly, we, we take away uh, the need to have development environments. So part of what the SpeedScale process is, this traffic replay process, is actually copying the production environment and the traffic and then just bring it back home to where you could, the developer can just run against it over and over and they can use the real, uh, the real test instead of having to you know, imagine what might happen in the real world.